32 weeks pregnant. Good morning. Um, quería compartir mi experiencia with um, anyone who would like to see this or just see, um, yeah, see this video um, through my eyes, through my experience, and if you can relate or if it can help you in some way. Um, pero no soy doctora, no tengo, I didn't go to medicine school, I can't diagnose or anything like that. So it's just a, what I feel, I think, and what I've understood that um, the doctors and the RNs have been telling me. Um, on Wednesday, um, I woke up with my face like swollen. Um, I had had my feet, my hands um, swollen, and then Wednesday, I'm gonna see like swollen, and um, that got me worried because. Um, that wasn't normal. I had already contacted my doctor before and they sent me like a list like, you know, if this and this happens, you gotta get in contact with us. So I emailed them and then I called them and the nurse told me I needed you to come to the hospital. So me vine al hospital. Um, they checked my blood pressure and my temperature and everything and my blood pressure um, so they came, they told me to come into the hospital and they checked my blood pressure, um, they took out blood and all that stuff, um, my pressure, my blood pressure was 169, um, I don't remember what the other number was, but it was 169 and, um, me empezaron a decir, like, um, like it's not okay. Um, vino una uh, doctora y me dijo. Um, she started talking about like preeclampsia, and I, I've heard about that word before, but I never even knew what it was. So me empezó a decir um, que era preeclampsia, que lo tenía, um, que me iban a dejar like una noche to be um, observing me. Um, so I'm like okay, and then. Um, Pasó tiempo, vino otra doctora y me dijo, like, lo mismo, me explicó, me ex, explicó lo que es um, de la uh, preeclampsia. Y entonces me dijo, um, you're going to stay hasta que nazca tu bebé. And I'm like, my due date is not till December 24th. We're in October. Like, okay. So then she started explaining que... Mi bebé no va a nacer, um, like, más tardado de 34 semanas porque, um, es peligroso para mí y para él si, si sigue en mí como pasando ese tiempo. Y ahorita, um, tengo 32 semanas, um, they're checking my blood, my pressure, blood pressure, um, and my baby, he's being monitored right now. Um, and if everything is like, like, okay, um, you know, we can just take it a day at a time. But si ven que mi pressure no, no baja, or um, mi sangre like sale que algo está mal, I'm gonna have to go into labor. And it's something that I never thought I would be going through. I was already getting prepared. Like, you know, if I have a normal delivery or C-section, it wouldn't matter. Um, I was getting ready to prepare my diaper bag, um, my bag, and just a few more things for my baby so when he comes home. But God plan God's plans are always different and i trust him and i know it's not gonna be easy right now but i know it's all gonna be worth it um my baby cuando nazca no me lo van a dejar llevar he's gonna have to stay until his due date which 
breaks my heart because I want to be with him. I want to take him home. I'm, this is my first baby and um, my whole experience is going to be different, but I trust God and I know that everything is going to be okay. Um, at first, I was really worried. Um, receiving all the information, porque te vienen y te dicen, proclamcia, this, esto te vas a quedar. And you're like, whoa, you know? Um, pero me han explicado mucho, and they've been really nice here. Um, Como va a pasar todo? And that kind of gives me a little bit of peace, so there's no surprises. Um, from where I came in through, they brought me into a room. This is my room. Um, the RN, when before I like laid down, she's putting this on here. Y le pregunté why, because I've never seen that before. Um, but she said that preeclampsia can make you get seizure, seizures. And it's not just that, like it can harm your liver, your organs, um, cause you like, I believe like blood clots. Um, it's not for you, good for you um, and then if things aren't controlled and they're not like well you know the blood through your placenta, placenta it goes um, to your baby and then things will not be okay but um, I'm glad that at least they have this in case I get one but I hope I don't they had me on magnesium when I came in I got off it last night um, I slept really late last night, but I feel like because I felt like myself, because with the medicine, I just wasn't here. I had been receiving calls, messages, and it was kind of hard to be like on my phone. And then there's RNs and um, doctors coming through, and at the end, I just put it aside and just waited for them to take it off and when they took it off I started feeling better in myself so I slept a little bit late last night um, today they're gonna do a ultrasound a baby growth so we're gonna see how my baby is how big he is um, and right now They're monitoring him. Le digo que parece como horse races, like the horses, you know, like, oh, that, I forgot the word. hasn't been cooperating today. I'm trying my best like not to move. Right now it sounds good. But then I'll just stop. So then I don't know if I should move or not for him to go back. Um, the monitor can track his heart. But today he had... See it's going low. 